Hello everyone, my name is Sick and welcome to Company of Heroes 3. Announced today and who knew, but it's already playable. So, today we're going to jump into a campaign. It's the only thing that is playable. We can only play single player, there is no multiplayer for now. That will come separately in a different build. So, I'm very excited. It sounds extremely ambitious what they've cooked up. It's a turn-based dynamic campaign where you zoom in for battles in the traditional company of hero style but it's almost like a mixture of total war with with uh, company of heroes which is extremely interesting but i don't know how it works yet so we're going to find out today in company of heroes 3 no two playthroughs are the same you can choose to recreate or rewrite history the Italian campaign begins with a decision, where to start. This time, the player chose to start on two fronts. Landing at Taranto, the player used the power of the Indian Artillery Company and their devastating weaponry to crush any opposition. The player also attempted to land at Salerno with their American company, but they came up against tough resistance from the Germans. In response, the player chose to deploy their British armor here to support the offensive. Finally, they broke through the German defense, which gave them a powerful presence in Italy. Partisan forces joined the Allied efforts, sabotaging bridges to prevent German retreats. The player took advantage of this by using the Air Force to drop a special operations company behind the trapped enemy. The next objective is to secure Naples, and this is where you come in. All right, so. Campaign map. Let's see. Oh, this looks pretty cool, huh? It's locked to 30 frames Come per on. second right Naples now. Is under attack. German planes are using Familiano airfield to launch bombing runs over the port. We must capture that airfield. Alright, so we have battle plans. I'm going to check the options in just a second because we're running at 30 frames per second right now and I think we could improve upon that. <laughs> but anyway, first of all, uh, we're going to keep the tutorial on because this is a blind first playthrough. Uh, let's see, the, we can choose a battle plan. The American plan, built for a strong initial push to break out of Naples before the Germans can really dig in. Companies and detachments are built for offense and mobility and bonus resources are given for early support call-ins. Uh, we get the one, one US airborne company with rifle detachments, one special ops company with engineer detachments, bonus starting munitions, and one naval destroyer. A British plan, a defensive plan built to secure the territories around Naples and prepare before striking German defensive lines. Uh, so this sounds a bit more defensive. Uh, companies and detachments are made to dig in. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and additional supply shipments will earn or will mean more resources in the long term. Uh, two naval destroyers, bonus resources on all three day supply shipments, or a combined plan. A plan built around balance and variety. By working equally with partisans, navy, and air force, we will have enough tools at our disposal to deal with any threat the Germans throw at us. Um, one UK armored company with anti-armor detachments, one US airborne company with engineer detachment, bonus starting manpower and partisan relations, and one naval destroyer. I think we're going to go with a combined plan. Alright. Welcome to the pre-alpha preview tutorial. Over a few turns of play, we're going to cover the basics of what you need to know to play our new dynamic campaign map. Camera control is locked for now, but will be unlocked after the tutorial. More info can be found by clicking the question mark at the top right of the screen. Please close this window to start. Well, first of all, I'm going to check the options and I'll be right back. All right, well, that should be much better. Um, by default, it was capped to 30 FPS, which is unexpected. So I did not account for that. Anyway, understood. Uh, it seems we still won't manage to get uh, 60 frames per second, but we're doing better with 45 at the moment. Let's see, left click this company. Now this is a pre-alpha, which means uh, work in progress, of course. Uh, bugs are to be expected. And yeah, anything will probably 
be improved in the future. Anyway, uh, right click to move here. Let's go ahead. Now, this is cool. We can move down all of these uh, roads into the towns. Uh, there's a railroad track here, and I think this actually counts as a supply line, probably. Anyway, we can right click to attack this enemy detachment. So, let's go for it. Alright, so that actually damages them, even without actually going into a skirmish. Interesting. Um, select this destroyer. Alright, left click the bombard ability. That's a familiar icon that we've seen before. Can we hit both of these guys? That would be nice. It's not exactly where they're prompting me to shoot, but... Look at that, we can even hit these guys in the back a little bit, and we killed off these guys. So, that's good stuff. Uh, new units can be requisitioned from ports. Select Naples and requisition a rifle detachment. Alright, uh, purchase units. Ooh, interesting. Alright, so we have an airborne company, a spec ops company. Uh, our short range units that are vulnerable to suppression, pinned and shocked battle statuses. Abilities ambush stance. Can camouflage anywhere with overwatch functionality to land a powerful first strike attack on enemy units. Special mountain movement can traverse through rough mountain passes to flank defenses and catch enemy by surprise. That sounds cool. Um, but of course, we're not here to get these guys. Airborne speaks for itself, but I just kind of want to have an overview of, of what is there. We've got the assault engineers, so they can construct things, deconstruct things. Uh, heavy machine gun detachment speaks for itself as well. But we're going to go with a stock standard rifle detachment. It takes units multiple days to be requisitioned, but units all produce simultaneously. Once completed, they arrive next to the port they were requisitioned from. Close this window to return to the game. Alright. Cool. So, that, that's very interesting. Let's see. When you're out of movement points or have no more actions to perform, click here to pass to the next day. At the start of the new day, all your movement and action points will refresh and any actions that take multiple days will progress. Passing to a new day will also give the enemy a chance to perform their actions. Alright. That seems to freeze the game, or what? It's saving. Fortunately, I cannot move the camera to check. We've already clicked this. This might be bug number one, maybe. Alright, I reloaded the game. And now things are progressing, so that does seem like it was a bug. And again, this is pre-alpha, things like this are to be expected. Ah, this is the airfield. Alright. So it seems we're going to have to fight our way through these guys to make our way there. Alright, so detachments are specialized units on the campaign map. They can participate in campaign map combat and support companies entering missions. Uh, they cannot trigger missions on their own, but can capture locations if there are no occupying forces. Alright, that's interesting. So we have detachments and we have companies. I don't know what a detachment is yet, and I don't know w which is the company. But let's say understood for now. <laughs> Let's see, the rifle detachment's supporting fire ability lets them automatically assist nearby companies in combat. Select this rifle detachment. Okay, so this is a detachment, not a company. Uh, move them closer to the enemy HMG detachment. This doesn't seem like a particularly good move, but... Uh, huh. Alright, so that took a little while, but I clicked. They start firing. Oh, wow. I took out half of them. The rifle detachment has been suppressed. Alright. Suppression is a status effect indicated by the yellow triangle icon. Also very familiar. And the effect temporarily removes two movement points and decreases attack potential. These effects last until the end of the day and can stack, pinning the detachment or company in place. Alright. Companies and detachments 
can also take advantage of terrain types like this town. Oh, that's interesting. I thought we were going to get stuck to the to the roads. Uh, different type types of map terrain affect how your units move and their strategic map combats. The cursor indicates which terrain type is at a location. Towns, forests, hills provide defensive bonuses. Roads provide more efficient map movement. Beaches and mountains allow specialized movement. And forests and camouflage. Units in forest terrain at the beginning of a day are automatically given camouflage. Camouflage hides units from the enemy and allows for surprise maneuvers. Interesting. And now we get a tank company. And I guess we will move them into that town. They will also be fired at. Attack this detachment. Oh, they, they're not getting fired at. I guess because it would be useless to shoot at a tank with an HMG. Uh, this company will receive a defensive bonus from the terrain and supporting fire from the rifle detachments. This info can be seen by hovering the over this enemy detachment and holding control. Alright, so without control, we see the strength breakdown. Down, the heavy armor. I don't see that these guys are helping us, I think. Or infantry, no, that's enemy infantry on the right. I don't see our infantry, but I believe you. And this is a company. So it's kind of interesting why there's a differentiation. I'm not entirely sure what's the point of it. But let's see, an enemy company is occupying Pomigliano airfields. Attacking locations occupied by an enemy company with her own company will start an RTS mission. Succeeding in this mission will capture the location and force the enemy to retreat. Uh, free roaming enemy companies may also be engaged to trigger an RTS skirmish. All right. Detachments can also support companies' emissions. Select this medic detachment. Move them nearby Pomigliano before starting the mission. And I'm curious what is like the, the area of influence of these um, places. Alright, and I'll select this company. I'll move them there. But this is a company, not the detachments, so only the companies can enter skirmish or uh, RTS campaigns, I guess. Attack the airfield with your company to get a briefing on the mission. Be careful before engaging missions. Having low health can result in negative effects, but the same applies to the enemy. Interesting. So you can weaken people up before you go into the regular uh, RTS section. Select one of the empty slots and fill it with the nearby medic detachment. Selecting effectors will grant you additional active or passive abilities in the mission. All right. Uh, and I guess we will play. I can't wait. Right, so it seems there is a problem with ending f ending turns. I had the same problem as before. Anyway, let's have a look at this campaign map, man. Or this RTS map. It looks beautiful. And I don't even run everything at Ultra. I don't think I can at the moment. Let's see, this is actually 60 frames per second. Now. Right. If you are new to Company of Heroes, here are some introductory tips that will make your first mission an operational success. To move the camera, you can hold down the central mouse wheel and move the mouse in the direction you wish to move the camera. Alternatively, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard or simply move your mouse to the edge of the screen. To select a unit, click on them with your left mouse button. The left mouse button is your selection button. You can drag a box around multiple units to select them at the same time. And so far, so basic. You can also <laughs> select units in the global unit control in the bottom left of the screen. You okay. can select a squad with a single click of their decorator in the global unit control. Double I think I remember that from Company of Heroes before. Once you have a unit selected, Useful. you can give them move or attack orders with the right mouse button. Try selecting and moving some units around for practice. Next, you'll want to produce some units. From your barracks, left click on one of the squads in the command card to add them to the production queue. They'll soon be at your disposal. This looks familiar as well. You can build a 
additional buildings. Do I and everything? Deploy more powerful units as the game progresses. These similar icons. By your base forces. Huh. You will want to use abilities with your units. Select a rifleman squad. In the bottom right corner, you will find their command card. If you look at their command card, you will see the breach ability on the left hand side. Left click the breach ability, then left click on the house full of germs to flush them out. Oh, that the looks cool. Command card is where you will find abilities and other commands for your selected units. That's a very unique animation. Are the keys to winning engagements in Company Heroes 3. By keeping your units in cover, they will take far less damage and can stay in the fight for longer. Flanking the enemy gives you the tactical advantage by negating their cover and hitting them where they are not prepared. Your squads will gain veterancy from spending time in combat. When you see a gold star appear above a unit, you can choose between an offensive or defensive bonus in the bottom right hand corner of the command card. A knife throw. <laughs> new active abilities or passive bonuses. You should make use of your company abilities to gain the edge in battle. These can be found in the strip menu on the right hand side of your screen. Left click uh. on an ability such as the smoke bombing run, then left click where you want to deploy your ability. To complete the mission, you'll need to capture resources to build your army. Select a squad and move them All of this is familiar, but there might be some unique elements to Company of Heroes 3 that I don't know about, so we're just going to continue when watching. Have suffered some losses, you will want to retreat them back to base for reinforcements. Click on the understrength squad, and in the command card, click the retreat icon. Once your squads are back in the HQ, you should reinforce them before bringing them back to the front. You'll find the reinforce ability in the command card. Tactical pause will give you time to think when the action gets hot. This Press is new. Bar to enable tactical pause. From here, you can order the same movements and abilities that you can in real time. You can also queue a series of movements and commands for each individual squad, allowing for precision plays. Unpause to watch your commands play out in real time. Finally, if you want more tips, you should definitely check out the helmet. There's loads of great info here for new players. You'll be commanding like a grizzled veteran in no time. Have fun out there. All right, that looks cool. And we might have a look at at the, the tactical pause just because it's interesting and we can have a close-up look at things. But I also want to start playing this in PvP against other players. And there we will not be able to pause the game, so it might not be a great idea to... to uh, get used to that too much. Anyway, we have some objectives. This is a critical communication center and we're expecting it to be heavily defended. All right, soldiers, listen up. Our target is enemy air control tower. Before we can move into the airfield, however, we'll need to support nearby allied infantry who are pinned down. Once they're safe, push to the tower. Reports suggest enemy aircraft in the area, so keep your eyes open for strafing runs. Godspeed. All right. All right, so we have some enemy or a friendly. All right, so we start with the tutorial uh, thingy. All right. It's cool to see these guys back in cover. Like this, this is what we know and like Company of Heroes for, right? All of these guys, they've got their little human touches, how they move around, how they take cover. And I really like this animation as well, look at that. Boom. <laughs> that is very cool. And now we have this company over here. And these guys can actually see into this enemy group as well, that's interesting. Alright, can we move around the side here? Alright, is there some green cover around here, I wonder? Right, so we freed the commandos. These guys are going to stay here. Take control of command buildings, and they'll be forced to retreat. But careful, they'll put up a fight. We're needed, boys. We're going deep into the lines. All right, we can pick up weapons as well. These guys already have a machine gun, by the looks of it. We have some requisitions thing. Our scouts tell us the enemy is storing sensitive information on this base. What are you? What is this red stuff? Partisans? No, commando squad. Why are you red? That's interesting. Let's right, secure the intel before it is destroyed. All right, that is not how to get them out. Okay, so we can do this, do that by default. 
You can get a scout squad, engineer squad, construct a medical station. Medical station seems like a pretty good idea. Let's uh, build one right there, I guess. And so we don't need engineers for that anymore. That's interesting. Bazooka squad, a sniper, heavy machine gun team. That sounds nice. We'll uh, go ahead and take that. You'll take that, you'll take that. And now we're going to move all of our guys forward. So we have two objectives, it seems. We need to go over here and we need to go way over there. That's actually quite a long distance away. Oh, run back. Let's have a look. Ooh. All right, they got suppressed by that, actually. All right, let's get these guys forward as well. We have 14 minutes until the intel is destroyed. That is good to know. Ooh. And can we still climb over walls? They do so automatically. Okay. Company Virus 2, we needed to click on that specifically. What is this? British Medical Detachment. Okay, so we can call in support for that. All right. Um, we definitely need to move these guys forward. This is not a great position to be in. Let's see if we can move around. These guys are going to lose that fight. These guys need to retreat. But I just needed to get into that cover because we're not in a great position here. Just need to get used to, to this game again, but that's going to get them to move. That destroys their cover, actually, but they're out of gun now. Alright, these guys can take the rear. They've got the machine gun bunker. Let's move these guys up. Actually... Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh boy. Alright, these guys need to move over here. Can we build something with these guys as well? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, maybe we should withdraw these guys. Got the machine gun. Over here. Alright, let's move up to the north first. I think that that would be a pretty good choice. And let's see what we can build over here as well. Uh, we'll build a barracks. So we can get some more riflemen. Ooh. Where did you come from? All right, we'll stick to the walls. <laughs> and the machine gunner can stay there and should have a pretty reasonable overview. We're going to reinforce these guys. Of course, we can keep an eye on them from down here as well, which is important, and we should definitely do so. Move them over here. All right, got these guys. Try to... Oh, these guys need to run. Ah, all right. That takes some time. That is not great. All right. Oh, click the, the mini map there. I have to say, so far, all of this is very familiar, which is really cool. Oh, oh, we have a bazooka here. Come on, we got that bazooka. Yes, move around that corner, try to get a shot off. Alright, that's maybe a bit too aggressive. Can we get you into that wall? That would be that would be a pretty good place. Why do you have to move over there? I don't want you to move over there. Oh crap. Alright, order in some reinforcements. These guys definitely need to flank this uh, group. Oh, it seems we got the tank. That's good. Oh, the mortars down. 
Alright, let's get the plan going. Alright, okay, that was not too gr not, not too good of a mortar shot for them. That's nice. Oh, look at that. They've got the mortars in the back over there. Are we, have we got some friendlies coming in? Not really. Alright, you guys need to run. Where are they getting shot from? These guys are getting shot from the side. Need to keep an eye on the minimap. Come on, take out. Alright, so far so good. Alright, let's do the tactical pause here just for a second. I want to zoom in and have a look at the blood and the... Ooh, this is quite sensitive. Alright, so for a second there it looked gorier than it used to be. Not really the case. That's good to know. Anyway. Uh, BR light machine gun package. We're going to reinforce you. These guys are doing well. I think we're going to garrison this building over here just to, to guard our flank. These guys are going to move forward. They're going to move over here. Okay. You guys are definitely retreating. Ooh, crap. Uh, we have a sniper. Let's see if we can drop a grenade in there. Oh crap, that's quite effective. Alright, that's that sniper taken care of. We can move into the building in their stead. But where? Ah, on the building. Let's see how effective that is. Alright, decent. Alright, can we not this direction in this building all right let's see if we can finish those guys off let's take a no let's not move inside these guys should be able to finish off that little group and indeed they can Uh, let's see if we can move the machine gun up in there. These guys are going to have to withdraw pretty soon. Ooh, that flank turned out very poorly for them. Uh, you need some backup. These guys are holding the center. I just need to keep an eye on that objective. They can put out some fire if needed. Alright, let's see what else we can build, because we do need to keep building. Uh, the weapon support center. And it does come with a cost. It's it's not super expensive though. This needs any support center upgrade from the HQ, okay. Mechanized support center, air support center, infantry. I'm all about the infantry. That's what we're going for. Oh! That is not great. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are going to fall back. They need to with a regroup. Let's see, we can put the machine gunners up in here. These guys can move forward as well. Okay, we are not moving into flamethrower range there. Holy hell. Uh, these guys are holding out okay for now. These guys are going to be gone pretty soon. Alright. I'm going to keep them here for just a second until we cap that objective. Alright. Uh, garrison this building to find intel. Alright, let's see what that does. Oh. There they are. So 
bad time to run around that corner, mate. <laughs> Alright, you are retreating. Let's see, Browning Automatic Rifle. We can spend some money. An additional BR machine gun. Yeah, why not? We're in friendly territory. We can get away with that. Let's go to machine gun bunker over here. Where this time? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. They're safest inside the building, I think. But to be honest, that's quite annoying. Can we grab this? Where are you? Oh, they're retreating. I did not want them to retreat, actually. <laughs> right, still some kinks to work out there. Can get a sniper? What is this? Oh, we, we have the same building twice. Decreases infantry upkeep by 50%. I'm not sure what the upkeep is, but let's build it because that sounds pretty good. We have a motor pool. Ah, look at that. We have two of those as well. Did I miss something here? Did I not pay attention to that? Well, I guess it increases our production capability. It's not a bad thing, but... See, let's do, uh, let's get a mortar team as well. We'll get a, a rifleman squad because we can steal the verbal wind. Oh, that's uh, over there. Oh, that's interesting. So the 50 minutes are over. It seems like these guys are not firing back, so we can kind of whittle them down a little bit. Oh, and what if we get the bazooka guys in here? These guys can hold this area. No. Crap, I keep pressing the wrong freaking button and I cannot cancel it. <laughs> Alright, that's not too bad. They can take that damage. Meanwhile, I think we're going to have to move on to the right hand side. I want that verbal wind, <laughs> or however you call it. But that sounds like anti air capability to me, and I want it. That is very good. All right, and we'll have a we'll have a decent group. This is a pretty defensive location. It's pretty good for us. Huh? Did this group of guys get wiped out? I wonder. And it looks like they did. And we cannot grab that extra bazooka. Alright, our guys are doing well so far. Got a sniper. I wonder if this guy is as, as iconic as the other ones. Alright, he's automatically kind of camouflaging there. And I wonder what his effective range is, actually. And the assault on this is, might be interesting as well. What is this? P? Some of this is still definitely work in progress, I think. We can deploy a medical truck. We can try that as well. Deploy a medical truck over there. Let's get it keep that formation. Airstrike incoming. Oh crap, man. That's just going to keep on happening. <laughs> Ready for deployment, sir. Come on. All right, let's see if we can just rush these guys in. I don't know what the effective range of Oh, okay, there we go. They need to be more forward. The sniper needs to be more on the side. The unit guys need to be moving over here. You guys need to be moving right there. Right, this seems like a fight we are about to win. Do we have rifle grenades? Sticky bomb? That should be a flank. There we go. Oh, Chaffee Light Tank, Greyhounds. We'll uh, construct Greyhounds. We'll move it over here. You need to withdraw. We don't have any capability to take this out, except for the fact that we do have a, a sticky bomb. Come on, can you? Alright, I got the engine. Uh, 
uh, you guys need to withdraw a little bit as you as well let's see we'll get another group over here uh, you have a sticky bomb left you do not you can stay here all right that takes care of them oh crap now we've got another one Oh, oh crap, oh, that is not good. Oh, yeah, okay, so the red battles do some extra damage there. That is good to know. All right, our mortars also got wiped out, it seems. Let's see what these guys can do. I need to get these guys reinforced. The medic is healed up, that's good. Or uh, the sniper, I mean. Let's move the sniper over here. Oh, these guys also move out into different directions. Oh, run, 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 back out of there. I have a feeling that was going to be extremely effective. Clear the area to steal the wave of wind, yeah. They're going to move over here. Toss the grenades before they lose effective range, crap. Yeah, okay, that's it. Uh, they should lose this pretty hard, I think. Alright, these guys are moving out. These guys can move out. Alright, so this is ours now, it seems. Why are you out in the open? Uh, take one of those shots. Can you? No, you need to. Crap. <laughs> that was so close. Alright, let's put one squad in the green over here. Medical station, we already have it. Basically, we have all the buildings, and that's one of those things in Company of Heroes that I would like to see improved just a little bit. A little bit more base building. Maybe some construction options for these guys as well. Anyway, uh, we have the Nabal Wind. Verbal Wind. <laughs> This should be pretty effective at wiping those guys out. Ooh. Alright, this, this stuff is actually pretty easy to blow up. That's uh, interesting, to say the least. Alright, you guys definitely need to start putting some fire out here. You guys are going to finish off this group of guys. Let's see, where do you want to take cover? There, it seems. There's no way. Alright, we could do with some engineers as well. Let's see, where do we get them? There we do. There we go. Alright, let's move like we got a 
Right, these guys can support each other down the center a little bit. Need to carry that bunker. Oh, what happened there? Oh, they have a sniper up there. Okay. Uh, the destruction looks pretty cool. Uh, these guys are not long for this world. That is good. These guys can move forward a little bit, maybe. The machine gun in the back. And that's pretty much all we have over here. Toss a grenade, come on. There we go. Alright, you need to grab some cover. Alright, so far so good. Capturing this. Track. Indeed. Alright, we have a engineer squad. We are going to bring them out. What else do we have over here? You guys need to heal up. Oh, crap. Alright, you are withdrawing. Where is that mortar coming from? It's in the back there. I don't think we're going to be able to take them without backup. But maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, oh, oh, crap. Alright, they got tanks now. Where do we have our tank? We can move it over here. This is a really useful feature that I haven't used enough in the past. Oh, that sound though. That sound effect is really juicy. Oh, crap. No, we don't need that machine gun. You're going to withdraw. Can we actually sticky bomb that thing? Yeah, and then we're going to withdraw because we need to keep that guy alive. This guy, these guys are repairing that thing. Actually, we might want to pull this tank over to the left. So we might want to order up another one. It's a light tank. It might not hold out for very long. You need to withdraw before it's too late. Alright, you two are complete now, that's good. Send them out there. Got a machine gun. So far, so good. Put them on the number one control key. Alright, that took care of that. Now we have a strong point over here that we are going to send these guys into. Actually, never mind. We need to sticky bomb the shit out of that thing. And now we need to withdraw like crazy. 
Alright, we have a reverse move still for this guy. That's good. Reverse over here. Alright, that took care of that tank. Good. Seems we haven't been bothered for a while by that airplane. And that's good as well. I guess they're scared of our uh, verbal wind. <laughs> Alright, we're going to heal these guys up. These guys are going to move over here. They're scouts. I'm still not too sure about uh, their purpose. Has increased on a site and captures territory 50% faster than standard infantry. Can be upgraded to use the flares and smoke rates. Okay. Yeah, okay. That uh, makes sense. Move these guys up into the tree line there. I need to be better about my situational awareness. Keep track of the minimap a bit more. Also, the units at home. Alright, so what else do we have? A sniper? We can build another sniper because why not? All right? Mechanized support center, advances army tech, unlocks vehicle improvements for research. Okay, air support center, we'll do that one as well. Grenade package, mortar team, Willy's Jeep. Has increased on its side, can be upgraded to reveal enemy units, unit movements in the fog of war. Right, so that's a pretty useful scout as well. Anyway, I think we're going to move uh, armor group one forward. And these guys are going to be here as a support. Actually, Army Group 1 has just grown a little bit. Ooh, look at that. Take care of that bunker, please. Gotta keep the scouts on the flank here. Alright, let's move around that flank. There we go. Moving in closer to where we need to be. Got a bunker over here that we can take care of. These guys are going to support the middle a little bit. Going to move over here. And this is the last objective. This is what we need to take care of. So this should be pretty close to completion. And, ooh. Haha, <laughs> high altitude recon run. Let's, let's do it. Alright, can we reverse gear over here? Because that is a lot of anti tank. Alright, seems it's time for the final assault. Oh, we got some troops coming in. I got a machine gun bunker over here as well. It's got a medical supply drop. Need to That sniper might not be in time to be useful to anyone, but let's see. Alright, you guys need to withdraw just a little bit. <laughs> They're getting chewed up by that machine gunner. Oh, you got a machine gun up there as well. I 
you are retreating. Let's see if we can get rid of that machine gun nest in the building. Uh, we are definitely going to have to keep track of our engineers. We're going to have to... Alright, these guys are coming in. It's kind of nice that they climb automatically over over walls now, because it, it saves you on misclicks and things like that. Alright, that's all the suppressive fire coming their way. <laughs> ah, it's got the tanks in on this uh, show. Can we actually uh, clear this out as well? That would be nice. Alright, there we go. Take down on the final building. Infantry, garrison that control tower to secure it. There we go. It seems everything is a bit more lethal than it used to be in the past, which is Yeah, well, let's see how that works out. I like it on the one hand, on the other hand it gives you less time to react and the firefights going back and forth is actually kind of uh, cool always but at the same time, having said that, uh, being in heavy, uh, in heavy cover actually is a lot better and does protract the firefight a lot, which we haven't had too much of actually, it's a lot of medium cover or light cover I guess, there's not, no such thing as medium cover side cover or, or heavy cover Ooh, shot in the back prepare for an armored counter-attack oh, that was not good not good at all all right let's uh order in some troops let's order in some empty all right so where is our mm, engineer group Ah, that's actually a pretty good uh, thing to have. Destroy the tanks patrolling around the control tower. Do we have another one? Yes, we do. We'll take that one as well. All right, not bad, not bad. And actually spreading out the tanks a little bit helps as well, because then you can stack them all at once with one button and just send them in from all sides, and that is really cool. Alright, clear the German forces from the control tower. These guys are retreating already. And that is mission one done. <laughs> Look at all of those tanks just going ham. On those retreating soldiers. That's crazy. That's it. The battle is ours. All right, and we got experience for that as well. Interesting rewards, uh, manpower, I guess. And what is that? Not sure. Supplies, I guess. Right. And this is the group we beat. And they're Final withdrawing. Plan. Well executed, Commander. The airfield is under Allied control. All right, cool. And we have uh, influence rewards. One active. Interesting. With the troops well supplied via the port, the Winter Line will fall in no time. Assuming Buckram's men can stick to the damn plan, of course. Commander, Monte Cassino is ripe for the taking. My boys are ready to punch a hole through the winter line on your command. Special Ops reporting in, Commander. We've made contact with the local partisan resistance. Stand by for intel from their network any day now. 
All right, break the wind line, but that is <laughs> that is a lot of stuff, man. And we need to capture Monte Cassino. That is the goal. All right, this company has earned a requisition point for completing the mission. Select them to upgrade, so to purchase and upgrade. Interesting skills. Ooh, company skills. Paratrooper airdrop. Uh, one point. Paratroopers airdrop at veteran C1 and receive discounted weapon upgrades. Oh, that's the next upgrade, I guess. So first is just to, the ability to, to get them to drop. A smoke bombing run, that's actually kind of useful. We're going to purchase that. Uh, smoke bombing run now provides light cover to infantry within its area of effect. That is also very nice. Replaces smoke with white phosphorus, dealing damage to units that enter it. Oh, that could be interesting, depending on how you want to deploy it. So let's just hold off on that for a second. We'll purchase this, and we'll purchase that so that when we drop these guys, actually they're going to be more effective. And actually, oh, this seems to be one or the other kind of deal. And this assisted paratrooper airdrop, not available in pre-alpha preview. All right, HMG paradrop. P-47 Rocket Strike, that's always really good. Carpet Bombing Run. We have a lot of points, you might as well just purchase a bunch of stuff. And this one is not available. Improved P-47 Rocket Strike. Sure, why not? Uh, HMG Paradrop. For an increased cost. Adds an AT Gun Team to the Paradrop for an increased cost. Ooh, that's pretty good. Purchase that one as well. Uh, enables infantry reinforcements to be power dropped at the HMG's team's landing zone for a limited time. Interesting. But I think the, the AT gun would be most useful. Power drops free munitions crates to the target location. That is also nice. We're purchasing that as well. That's a lot of stuff. Now that we own an airfield, we can get some squadrons up into the skies. Click on Pomigliano to manage air units. Click to manage airfield. Alright, this is all work in progress, clearly. But uh, let's see. Click purchase to requisition a new air squadron. We just, well, we got a good P 47 bombing run, so I'm, I'm thinking we're going to purchase that one. I don't know what the other ones are going to yeah, bombing run, incendiary run, smoke run, power drop, supply drop, air bridge drop. Ah, like that. American fighter crowds. So this one cannot actually deploy. The, the infantry, the paratroopers. Right, okay. Resources are starting to get low. New resources arrive on supply ships every three days. Bonus resources arrive with each shipment. The more fuel depots, munitions depots, and ports you control. Press next day to get your resource shipment. I think we're also about to put... Alright, this is definitely a bug. Anyway, uh, we've been playing for long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more. And I will see you guys for whatever video I do next.